wonderful. Jim, thank you very much. Brian, it's nice to have you here. Lee, thank you very much. Well, we'll wait it out a minute. Okay. That's I think they get I think they get the general idea. Do you get tired of noise or applause or appreciation? No, never. It's, it's music. When you went to England, did you have a job? Uh, no, I played drums. I mean, that you don't consider that a job. But when you went there, did you, didn't you have any work? I mean, you, they told me you sat around. Yeah, we just kind of sat around for a while until we landed a job. And uh, it took us about three months to land a gig there. Were you afraid? Well, no, not really. We just kind of slept around parks and uh, <laughs> all their movie theaters. You allowed them, let them finish their statement, will you? You're from uh, Long Island. Why would you leave and go to England? We were just really bored with Long Island. We were playing there for a few years, the same clubs every night. We thought we'd have an adventure. We just left. So what do you explain the fact that the, the Stones and Ringo Starr and Dave Edmonds, a lot of famous people like your music. Obviously, they like it for a reason. Do you, did you ever figure out why? Well, I think basically they started out playing uh, American 50s type of rock and roll, and they hadn't been a rock and roll band for so long, they wanted to come see what one really sounded like again. How long have you guys been together? About uh, four years now. The influences of the music that you have go back long, probably before you were born. How do you explain the kind of music you play? Did you discover it on your own? We had it around the house, I suppose. Hank Williams mm -hmm. and El Elvis and everything. Our folks had that around the house. And then just dig a bit deeper, and we discover Gene Vincent, Eddie Cochran. You're talking about people I grew up with myself, man. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I see you Lee, uh, playing a, what we used to call a doghouse bass. Now you got to schlep that thing around on airplanes in the backs of cars. Why didn't you go for the, the normal electric bass? Well, I think they just didn't sound the same, really. The electric bass was always trying to sound like a double bass with that slap called a slap bass, and nothing's really uh, copied it. Right. You don't mind the inconvenience? No. Are you going back to record again? We're going to record a new album with Dave Edmonds uh, in England. When will it be happening? Back to the U.S. in uh, November again. Do you, do you miss us back here, despite your success over there? Oh, yeah. I miss the food, especially. <laughs>